Interesting to get people's perspective on that. And this is certainly a topic at the top of mind for everyone as the COVID-19 vaccine rollout continues across Arizona. What's next for daily life? Team 12's Trisha Hendricks joins us live from State Farm Stadium with new information from Johns Hopkins University when it comes to that question as well as others. Trisha, what are they saying? Good morning, guys. Quite a bit. Rachel, experts at Johns Hopkins University's Bloomberg School is looking at the new realities for fully vaccinated individuals versus those who have not received the COVID-19 vaccine. They say with only 14% of the U.S. population currently vaccinated, even those vaccinated must continue to follow prevention measures like mask wearing, social distancing, and hand washing. Remember, health officials say we need to hit at least 70% of people vaccinated to reach herd immunity. Researchers are also focusing on a list of scenarios, mapping out just how safe or risky they are. One of the big questions that came up, what should our expectations be when it comes to things like attending church services this spring? Going to church services or any place of worship, you know, as the spring is coming, we remember our pillars again. Definitely outdoors is better than indoors. We've also known that um, mask wearing is definitely going to be important, particularly if you're indoors. And oftentimes you'll see that perhaps singing is not as, um, is not as, as encouraged um, from the entire congregation. When it comes to things like Arizona's vaccination efforts in particular, another round of new appointments are opening up at 11 o'clock this morning for state-run vaccine sites like here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. We're told those who don't get one of these appointments should check back throughout the week. It's likely more appointments will become available based on cancellation, so we'll keep you posted on that. Coming up in the 6.30 half hour, experts had to say about whether it's okay for vaccinated grandparents to see family members in other households from here moving forward. We'll bring you that at 630. Live in Glendale, Trisha Hendricks, Today in AZ.